So now what we want to do is a different visualization technique. We've done place marks and polygons and paths. This next one is called an image overlay. This takes a few more steps, but will give you the aesthetic you're looking for uh, sometimes rather than the others. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm gonna go down to the place mark of my house that we mapped earlier. And let's say I've got a new neighbor that just moved in across the street right here. And I don't wanna put a place mark there or a polygon. This is a different one, the image overlay. There are several ways to do an image overlay. I'm gonna show you the simplest way first and then in follow-on videos show you other reasons and how to do these image overlays. So I'm gonna put something on this house saying that this is a named area of interest, if you will. It's an area that I wanna keep an eye on. So I'm gonna come to PowerPoint and I'm gonna use PowerPoint to draw a shape that I wanna bring into Google Earth. I'll do a simple triangle and I'm gonna type in NEI one for named area of interest. Take a few seconds to make this look like I want. Something like that. And now what I'm gonna do is take this shape from PowerPoint and bring it into Google Earth. So I'm gonna click on the shape, go to save as a picture. And I'm going to name this, and I'm gonna save this to my pictures folder. It's called NA1PNG. Now that I got that saved, now in Google Earth, I'm gonna zoom into the house, right click, add, image overlay. <clears throat> and these green lines appear. It's in the shape of a box with the crosshair in the middle and a diamond to the left. Let's see how these work. This is a bit different. I'm gonna name this in AI1 and now browse to where I saved that picture in AI1, double click, and in it comes. Now it's not where I want, it's not the size I want, and it's not the orientation I want. So this is how the green lines work. The center crosshairs, if you click and drag, will move the whole thing. The diamond to the left, if you click and drag, will pivot on that center point. The sides will change the shape and the corners will change the size. I like to use the shift key and go to the corner because it'll do it to scale. I'm also gonna use this transparency line. I'm gonna bring this down so I can see my image, but also see through it as well. Move it on top of the building I want, maybe a touch smaller. And now I'm gonna pivot so it's facing my house, so as I look at it, I would be seeing the NAI one. When I'm happy with it, click OK. And now I'm gonna change the angle using our navigation techniques. And here's my NAI one, here's my house, and here's my line of sight to it. When I'm happy with it, file, save my places, and now I've got that NAI one saved there. When I'm happy, I hit R on my keyboard, so I'm looking straight down. And that's a way to do an image overlay. The next video is I'm gonna show you what not to do with image overlays and better ways to use image overlays. But that's the basics. Thanks for watching, map your world.